The first thing I would say for a patient and an institution is so important is patient care and safety. We want to make sure that if a patient comes to University Health or really any health system wherein we educate our medical students and residents is they can know that they're getting high quality, safe, good care. But then it doesn't do any good if you have great care if patients can't afford it. So access, quality, and affordability are three of the big key things that are so important. Well, one policy, of course, is value-based health care. In other words, that we as Americans need to get good quality health care, but for some reason, among all the industrialized nations, it's way too expensive in this country. Now, why is that? And we need to find out the causes for that and then make the incremental changes that will bring the cost down but preserve the quality and access. And so that's one of the big things, value-based healthcare, getting the entire person, regardless of where he or she is from, and enable them to have this good kind of quality healthcare. We're facing, as a result of the pandemic, some workforce shortages. Let's just talk about healthcare inflation. The number one cause of that is we didn't initially have the supplies and so hence the demand went up and so the prices went up. But the other thing that's complicating it now is workforce. And that is we can't get nurses and staff to staff the hospital. So even if you came to the emergency department and needed a procedure like a, a heart surgery or an appendicitis to make sure that there are nurses available to staff the hospital. So workforce is a big deal. And the unfortunate thing is you can't just do this overnight. And so we have to look at what it is that it takes to make medicine rewarding and safe, whether it's childcare, whether it's fair benefits and reimbursement, but also taking kids from the time they're in high school and giving them education and opportunity to be um, integrated early on and then looking at broadening healthcare with community health workers, so that there's more access that patients could get, not only preventative health care, but once they get to the hospital, that there will be a bed open. And then after, there is a safe place for them to go, so that they can go home to the hospital and know that they're not going to get worse.